Hey there, I'm Faith Fletcher and I'm so glad to be with you today. This is what I've been working on today. And I was just gonna show you all a few tips and tricks and then look what happened. It just kind of, kind of appeared on there, right? <laughs> so please go back and look at the other videos because I have, um, I try to keep them under 10 minutes. Started out with a lot shorter time period, but some of these steps take a little longer than that. But um, you will start with a 12 by 24 canvas or you can use a shorter one and just adapt it um, or smaller one, you know, bigger one, whatever you want to do. It's your world, right? Um, and so I just started, I just broke it into a bunch of steps. And so I'm trying to go ahead and cram in more steps on this and then I might have to continue, might have to continue tomorrow. I'm hoping not, but, um, as I moved down the mountain and got this much done, I was thinking, what am I going to do for foothills? And I found this is called Evergreen Valley, and it's in one of Bob's books. So if you don't know this already, I am a certified Ross instructor, and I have been certified since 2002. So I have permission, I have permission to use his name, use his tools, um, and paints and those are the tools and paints that I recommend and um, so also his canvas the canvases are really awesome too but everything they have I use that and I recommend that okay so sorry I had to change positions a little bit this is real life um, excuse my little plate I didn't know y'all could see all that over there but that's not food <laughs> I was actually working on a painting for someone and um, a little commission piece. And so, so anyway, I was looking at his books and this is, this is not what I started doing, okay? I just was looking for something, some inspiration for the foothills. And so you can do that. You can mix and match. And a lot of the paintings that I've come up with, I have used picture, I mean, parts of this picture, parts of that picture. And put those things together to make a project, okay? So this is, oh wow, this is the last book. This was um, the last season, season 31. I think he was working on 32 when he passed away. I didn't get to meet Bob. So anyway, I would have loved to have met Bob. So this is number nine in the book, and it's called Evergreen Valley. And so I'm just going to use this for some inspiration about foothills, okay? I think I'll use it... Um, I think I'll put the, because I have water in mine, and I'll, but I really like the, the, um, what is that, foothills, <laughs> and then the meadow, I love meadows, and, and just painting that, and can show you how you put in a meadow in a way that, um, you can see the, um, the depth, because there are certain ways you hold your brush, and you leave the dark, in a way that you can actually tell there is some distance there. So that's the kind of thing that when you join one of my Zoom classes, then um, you can really learn how to do that. I do private classes on Zoom. I do, um, what is it, like group classes on Zoom. If you and your family members want to do a Zoom class with me, I'll do it like that. You can all hang out there in your home and, um, or what if you have a family member, what if you have them all over the United States or anywhere in the world and you all want to get together and take a Zoom class with me? Wouldn't that be so much fun? That, that would be so much fun for y'all, but I mean, really for me, really. Okay, so I need to paint. I had to get started. Why are y'all talking so much? <laughs> okay, so, um, I'm gonna look and see because... I grabbed this up and then I didn't even really look at it really well. So he said, load the fan brush with a mixture of Prussian blue, phthalo green, midnight black and Van Dyke brown, holding the brush vertically, just tap downward to indicate the range of background evergreen trees. I just happen to have that on my canvas. I mean my palette, no, no kidding. So because I put this phthalo green on here and um, actually, you know what I might do? Just so you can see that I can do it, I'm gonna get this brush. And by the way, I have worked on this canvas um, in a bunch of short videos. So I'm gonna get, you can go and look at them. I'm turning that there. Don't have the most expensive equipment, but it's okay. 
um, I'm going to get a little bit of phthalo green. Phthalo green is so gorgeous. So I'm going to lift my palette up really carefully and show you. This is phthalo green. And of course, if you're taking a Zoom class with me, I hold my palette up, I hold my brush up. With every step, I take you, um, you know, right on through and show you how to do this. So I'm going to mix a little bit of phthalo blue as well. Wiggledy, wiggledy, wiggledy. And I think that's what I need is a little bit of that phthalo green. Oh, I love that. That looks so much nicer. I just didn't think about it to begin with. But do you see how you can go in? This is still wet. I did this an hour ago, okay? This is so forgiving. So that is still wet. I'm squishing it into my brush. Going in. And remember we keep these strokes, we keep them going horizontally because water always seeks its level. Water is flat unless it's like a boisterous sea. And I can also show you how to do those too. Wiping my brush. I'm trying to get as much off of there as I can. In fact, I could even get this brush here and wipe that. I'm going to set up an Amazon store as soon as I can. So when I get that done, I'll put those links in. Back and forth and going as straight as I can. I say as I can because sometimes I don't think it's straight, but it doesn't look straight to y'all because I'm often at the side. And so what looks straight to me doesn't look straight to you guys because you're looking straight on, okay? <laughs> so, I'm um, going to get my fan brush. I need to do that quickly because I don't have much time. I'm trying to keep these videos under 10 minutes. So, he said a little bit of phthalo green. I think he said Van Dyke Brown, Prussian Blue. And you know what? I'm out of Midnight Black. No, no. Okay, I got you. I did put Midnight Black. This is that night brown. Okay, so what we're doing is getting the brush nice and groomed. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Pull, flip, pull, flip, pull. Okay, so now you see how to do that. I'm going to come right in here. I'm looking at my picture again. And I'm going to hold my brush vertically, like he says, and go in and put these in. I don't worry about what the bottoms look like, and you'll see why. Now, another way you can do this, because these are kind of, they get kind of short after a while. You can kind of cheat, and you can turn your brush a little like this. But the thing is, y'all, is you want to keep these looking um, irregular. They're not all one size. And over here, they're just going to kind of I'm not going to get any taller than that, but we want to just keep them kind of irregular. I'm going to go off the canvas. See how those are all like level right there, so I've changed that a little bit. I think I'll just come on down because you'll see that even if I do it like that, it doesn't matter back there. Um, I may make a little body of water over there. We'll just have to see. I'll keep y'all in suspense. But the way this one does is it it kind of goes down to very, very little. They get really, really short. And they kind of, they actually do stop a little. Stop a little. They either stop or they don't, right? <laughs> Then, let's see, I'm at nine minutes and something. I think I'll come over here. I know these are, there are a little longer than I meant for them to be, my videos, but I am finding that, especially if I'm doing a step that stretches the, the breadth of the canvas, it just takes a little longer. I have 
have a kind of a good breaking point with these. Not that I'm at my breaking point. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I may get a little bit of midnight black, throw it in with this mixture, and go in and just make some of them a little darker. A lot of that sometimes too, y'all, is that we're running out of paint and we don't take the time to reload. So I kind of, I wanted to kind of get the idea of where I wanted my trees to be. La la la. Okay. So. The cool thing about this now, um, and by the way, I try not to waste paint, so I'm going to go and scrape that off, and I'm going to stop because I'm going over 10 minutes, but you can always catch me um, on the next video, okay? I'll be back. Yay!